Fast hatchbacks, with a couple of exceptions, are defined by turbocharged engines, which allow them to make a lot more power from a lot more displacements. Naturally aspirated ones are not so fancy, especially today when turbochargers are beloved. Of course, it all started with natural aspiration, with cars like the 205 GTI or Golf GTI, and eventually these are the fastest non turbocharged hatchbacks we know. Sad Leon Cupra 4 Named after a Spanish province and city, the Sad Leon from its early years was an attractive compact model, especially compared to German siblings. Starting at just 1.4 litre engine, the top of the range model was equipped with a narrow angle V6 engine of 2.8 litres. The figure 4 noted a 4x4 Haldex based system on board. Nissan Pulsar VZR N1 Created to compete with the B16B powered Civic Type R, the Pulsar VZR N1 had the highest specific engine output until the Honda S2000 came out next year. Speaking of engine, it was a tiny 1.6 litre, but thanks to a variable valve timing and lift, it revved up to 8600rpm and made a peak of 200 horsepower. This and its light structure make it one of the fastest atmospheric hatchbacks. Alfa Romeo 147 GTA The Alfa Romeo 147 GTA was one of the last cars to feature a variation of the legendary booster unit. Handling of this GTA hatchback wasn't particularly impressive or amazing. The engine was the best about it. Its toxicity and understeering behavior could partially be justified with a screaming 250 horsepower V6 engine and its unique sound. Audi A3 3.2 So far the last and only time a small Audi A3 received a 6 cylinder engine was in 2003 when the Ingolstadt automaker installed the VR6 engine in it. Besides, it has a double clutch transmission, all wheel drive system and some spotty tweaks of the suspension. It wasn't an S3 nor RS3, but it had balls with the biggest engine ever put into an A3. <laughs> Volkswagen Golf R32 Speaking of the 3.2 litre VR6, the Golf R32 had absolutely the same engine as the Audi. They shared the same platform, the same drivetrain, and supposedly even the brakes are identical. While the A3 3.2 is a sleeper, the R32 looks more like a hot hatch. There is one difference though, the R32 could have been opted with a manual transmission. <laughs> Hyundai 
Honda Civic Type R Mugen 2.2. It took 4 years for the first turbocharged Type R to come out after the previous Civic Type R, which happened to be the very last naturally aspirated one ever. It was the FN2 generation, and just before it was withdrawn from production, Mugen showed up with a reworked 2.2 litre engine making 260 horsepower. Besides all, they slapped a big rear wing and two big exhaust tips in the back and called it a day. BMW 130i The E87 130i isn't the newest car here, but it definitely is one of the most interesting, especially with its rear-wheel drive. The way it looks is not appealing to everyone, we know that, but it has a lively and revvy N52 engine paired to either a not the most exciting automatic gearbox or a 6-speed stick shift. The car only needs two things, an M packet to look as aggressive as it drives and a limited slip diff as there was none from the factory. Renault Clio V6 the Clio V6 uses an L7X engine developed in cooperation with Peugeot using 60 degree V angle and 2946 cc of engine displacement. Besides, there was even a 3.3 litre version of the engine scheduled, but never existed. That's not important though, what is is that the 6 cylinder was placed instead of the rear seats just behind ease of a driver, not only increasing sound pleasure, but also making it quite challenging to drive. BMW M Coupe. Some disagree that this is a hatchback, but what else is it then? It has three doors, short back, and even though it has only two seats, it has a spacious boot. The best thing about this car is its engine. The 3.2 litre S54 engine sourced from the BMW M3 E46. It has those individual throttle bodies, so it does sound exceptionally awesome from the air intake. <laughs> Ferrari GTC4 Lusso FF or Ferrari 4, that's how it started, with 4 seats and 4 wheel drive. In 2016, the model received an extensive facelift, and also a different name, the GTC4 Lusso. The engine remained, but Ferrari squeezed 30 more horsepower out of it, making 690 horsepower and almost 700 Nm of torque. They call it the shooting brake, but at the end, it is just a 3-door hatchback with a mighty 6.3-litre V12. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the fastest naturally aspirated hatchback in the world.
Hello, hello. 